So first of all, uh, very good evening and thank you so much for joining in Viboji. It's uh, really a pleasure having you with us today on the IRE Talks. And a very good evening and welcome back to all the participants. Welcome to the GIBS IRE Talk series at Gibbs Business School, Bangalore. I'm Professor Sandeep Bansali from the team GIBS and it's my honor and privilege to host today's IRE Talk. So before we begin, let me allow, allow me to uh, say a few words about GIBS Business School, Bangalore. GIBS is a renowned business school that focuses on fostering personal growth and professional growth as well through innovation, research, and entrepreneurship. Our program, including PGDM and BBA, are designed to develop the leadership skills, encourage networking with professionals, and promote community involvement. At GIBS, we also have an IRE school, that is Innovation Research and Entrepreneurship School, that offers specialized courses and resources for aspiring entrepreneurs to help them out to turn their ideas into a successful businesses as well as contributing to the students' career growth. Our aim is to provide students with the best and holistic education that prepares them for the success in the ever-evolving business world. Today, we are honored to have Mr. Vibor Vasani as a keynote speaker. So it's, it's my privilege that, uh, it's my honor to introduce you, the speaker for the evening, and I must say he is nothing less than a celebrity. And today's topic is starting early, the benefits of investing at a young age. So please allow me to introduce uh, the keynote speaker for the uh, evening to this August gathering. Uh, Mr. Vibor is a prominent figure in the world of finance and investment. He is a founder of Vignahara Investment Solutions, a reputed investment management firm that caters to clients across India. With years of experience and expertise in the financial industry, he has established himself as a trusted advisor to individuals, corporates, as well as the institutional investors. Mr. Vibor has earned accolades and recognition for his outstanding contribution in the field of finance. He has won Kilari number one show, which has been hosted by CNBC Awards for the eight times, which is witness to his skills and knowledge. He has also delivered various inspirational and informative talks at the various events, including the Joe's talk. He has also been shared his insights on investment and wealth creation. In addition to his achievement in the financial industry, Mr. Vibor is a social media influencer with a massive fan following on various platforms. So he has about 87,000 plus subscriber on YouTube channel. He has inspired a lot of informative videos on investment and he's also very, very active in Twitter where he has over 2,40,000 followers, which is quite a big number, I must say in that case, and shares very, very frequently, he shares his views on the latest development in the financial markets. Mr. Vibor's expertise is backed by his qualification and certification. He is a SEBI registered research analyst, which means that he's authorized to provide the uh, investment advices to the clients. And he's also a guest panelist at ET Now Sandesh. That's the, basically the Economic Times Now Sandesh, and where he shares his insights on various financial topics. His expertise and knowledge and passion for investment help has countless individual and organization to achieve their goals in terms of the financial goals specifically his firm, the Vignahara Investment Solution, is a testament to his commitment to provide top-notch investment management services to his clients. Just one small information I would like to give you to all the participants. Uh, Mr. Vibor had told me very, very clearly in the previous, sir, I'm going to keep this session very, very interactive. So request all the participants to be very, very active. Uh, probably he might put you across some questions. You can put it in the Q&A section. And in case if you have any doubts, any queries, any advice which you would love to seek from Mr. Vibor, you can put it in the Q&A. We will take it at the end. But the responses be very, very quick. I'm sure you will have to put in across a lot of responses right there. Yes, Pradeep, sir, please. Sir, you wanted to say something, Pradeep, sir? No, sir. Okay, your hand is raised. Anyways, no worries. So let's, I, I don't want to spend even one more time just like that. I'm really looking forward to hear from Mr. Vibor. Uh, Vibor, sir, over to you. Thank you so much, sir. And sir, ne ko zada hi tarif kar di. I hope uh, ye aap log decide kare ki I deserve these words or not uh, after this session. But uh, believe me, this session is going to be interactive. It is not going to be like a one uh, one way conversation. Ki main bolta ja raha hu, I'm going to be this way, and uh, audience is like uh, kuch samajh nahi aara, sab over the head ja raha hai. So let's begin the session. Uh, 
about me i was uh, same at of your age a few years back uh, let's say uh, down the line um, eight to nine years back uh, doing my bachelor's um, in delhi university i got a north campus uh, something around 93% in 12th but uh, eventually after uh, this uh, i learned about uh, that uh, uh, not that much uh, uh, you can say practical knowledge was being provided i left out the college but again aap college mat chhodna drone drop out the college or else uh, mr sandeep is going to kill me right here as well so jokes about going back i dropped out the college i started uh, practicing for c entrance i cleared that grace of god but um, eventually failed out in uh, ipc that is the second level of uh, ca and uh, probably that was the first failure of my life first failure of my life uh, and uh, i didn't moved out of my room for the two days and my mom was like something uh, is going to commit suicide and so on and so on but uh, nevertheless time changes i started practicing securities market i started practicing uh, stock markets um, and uh, those uh, terminologies in starting would be like a rocket science for me like what is intraday what is delivery short selling what is call and what is this put and options uh, but slowly slowly as you gradually increases your knowledge as you gradually started practicing these things believe me nothing is uh, like a rocket science way back going back to this um, definitely investing is boring investing is boring it is not uh, going to give you adrenaline rush uh, adrenaline rush comes from trading trading in intraday as well as bank nifty but definitely that can be risky if you don't have a time to look out at your screen if you are going through a college life if you are a salaried class or if you are doing some project or something else or job let's say right uh, so definitely investing is best investing is best and uh, you will be able to create your own path with the small small amounts let's say 1000 rupees 2000 rupees 5000 rupees and so on and so on so eventually though this goes back 4 years back 4 to 5 years back or even more than that i still remember so there was a family there was a lady who came to me and uh, who said that uh, my husband used to invest in stock markets and um, he died uh, Uh, something around uh, let's say two months back. I'm like okay. So she said that I want to know the value of that mutual fund because uh, he was investing aggressively. I'm like okay. So she gave me the PAN card. I put up through different uh, mutual fund industry and so on. You won't believe there was just an investment of three lakh rupees. There was just an investment of three lakh rupees. So I said that this is three lakh rupees. So the lady said just three lakhs. I said yes, just three lakhs. because this guy has never focused on the second part of life take example we all are human beings not to afraid you but we all are human beings anything can happen to the next moment right something like for example if someone is going out of the roads uh, covid covid era was horrible drastical right uh, so there can be any scenarios so what we are going to do in this workshop i'm going to ask you the amount so whatever amount you people says Someone says let's say thousand. Someone says two thousand. Someone says three thousand, five thousand, and so on, as per your capacity. We are going to take that on an average amount. We are going to put up in a calculator. I will share the calculator with you as well, and I'm going to share you the funds where you can invest that money as well. If you don't have a notebook, you can get a notebook. Though this is a digital era, so you can capture the screen as well. You can make your notes on your mobile phones and so on. Way back. so the second time second question i'm going to ask you is the duration for example some people must be of 18 years some people would be 20 22 as well right probably 18 to 22 23 so if you say 5 years 10 years 20 years 30 years so whatever time frame you say and again we are going to put up a average in that now this is the first instance let's say you start investing the money you start investing the money in mutual funds in mutual funds you will like vibor sanne bol diya hai so vibor has said and let's invest in mutual funds nowadays uh, sachin tendulkar dhoni they are coming on uh, screens as well in putting up mutual funds so yeah and let's start investing in blue chips mutual funds stock market fair enough fair enough but what if what if there is any uncertainty after one year or two years no you are stuck whatever goal you have planned for the next 40 years is being stuck in the early stages you are stuck 
let's say for example if there is a worker who is feeding his family and uh, let's say for example there is a layoff in the mass mass layoff there is a mass layoff going in it industries right so what is the second side and how can i protect my portfolio how can i protect protect my investments or mutual funds from this uncertainty so we are going to look up in a balance situations and this will be valid for everyone for example if you are a, a college going guy if you are a let's like a student bachelor student master student if you're a teacher as well for mr sandeep as well for me as well or let's say for example someone who is earning thousand rupees five thousand rupees or savings out so that will be valid all right so without wasting time i need answers from you guys so the question says how much you are willing to invest per month how much you are willing to invest per month whatever your pocket allows two thousand three thousand five thousand ten thousand and will pick out a average mean sandeep sir what do you say sir about for a working class i think somewhere around 15 to twenty thousand should be okay 50 to twenty thousand and um, let's see what we have got uh, from our members so we have uh, anything in the house so as of now i am i'm not able to see anything so i guess we started to see uh no sir there yet to yet to type uh, or to type now 186 members in the house at least i need 18 to 20 oh. answers so that we can reach to somewhat place uh, that uh, how much we are willing to save every month income after spending or whatever you are left that is the second theory so yeah. let's say for example yeah. anyone we have a lot of responses, uh, Viborji. We have uh, Samirji says 10,000, Azu says 1,500, Shantanu says 35,000 to 45,000. 35,000. Oh, God. Uh, Mr. 5, 10, 5K. So, somewhat around 4 to 5K is a visible answer. 4K is the probably the average mean 4 to 5K, right? So, let's start our journey with the 4 to 5,000 rupees. So, this is the only amount I'm going to invest uh, in mutual funds. Now, Let's assume there is a guy who started investing 4,000 rupees per month, 4 to 5,000 rupees per month in mutual funds in Nifty, Bank Nifty, or uh, okay, about this Nifty and Bank Nifty, these are the two major index which are being driven by major stocks. And uh, whenever you want to see, look at markets, oh, market is growing, just look at Nifty. Oh, Bank Nifty is going high, so means banking stocks are going up. So these are the two major index. You can start investing and believe me, these are very, lis very less risky. seen in the shark tank Piyush is like uh, aapka vision kya hai? that should be your goal right uh, all right so let me share up my screen and we'll start with the 5000 share screen all right so this would be the first scenario i hope uh, you guys can may see you can you guys can see my excel yes, sir. Visible. Visible? visible visible yes, sir. fair enough so let's say i started investing 5,000 rupees every month into the mutual funds, ETF, bank Nifty ETF or any blue chip focus stock, uh, hybrid stock as well, right? So let's spend down few years, let's say spend down five, one year, five years, 10 years, 20 and probably 40 years down the line. So that I'm just uh, moving up between not going to for seven years, 10 years, 15 years so that we can have a lot of time for Q&A session. All right, so let's say I started with one year, five years, and 10 years, 15 years, then 20, and uh, probably 30, and let's say 40. Fair enough. So this next uh, 5,000 rupees each month. All right, so now what we're going to do, we are going to put up all this calculation into a calculator. You can note down the calculator as well. Go to Google, Google type annuity calculator annuity calculator compounding calculator both are same so go to annuity calculator this would be a framework for you 
let's say starting principal as you guys said 5000 annual edition would be zero because we are going to start per month basis that is 5000 rupees so annual interest rate which nifty usually gives is 15 percent which is already being mentioned which is already being mentioned on the nsc website that is national stock exchange website this is from starting till now from starting till now nifty has given almost 15 percent return per year let's assume 50 and slowly slowly definitely we are going to adjust inflation as well we are going to adjust inflation as well which is almost uh, six to seven percent this year so let's start with one year calculate so i will be putting out something around 65000 5 5000 as the starting principle and uh, 5000 each for every month so this comes to somewhat around 70000 bucks let me put up into the calculator this is something around 70000 fair enough next we were at uh, 5 years so we'll turn the line at 5 years and have a look at this graph that is one of the most important thing to look out when you are uh, investing in mutual funds, uh, stock market, financials, even in bank FD, even in bank FD, if you're investing, fair enough, PPF or whatever you have, just look at the difference between these two colors. This green line is the output that is 70,000. This blue line, this blue line is the principal that was 65,000. Let's calculate for five years. The answer comes up at 4,46,000. Round off to 4,47,000. So 4.47 lakhs. All right. Now have a look at the difference between the green and blue line. This difference started to cope up. There was a minute or I can say a tiny difference. But have a look at the difference. Once you start investing on time, you don't need to invest on your money. This is not the goal. The goal is to invest on your time. Definitely this can be boring, but this would be the, one of the, those things where you don't need to take blood pressure pills. We don't need to panic. Oh, my money is gone. Nothing like that. Anyway, going back, let's calculate for 10, 15 years quickly. And then we'll look at the, the different side. Have a look. Your money almost get doubled. 13.35. All right, let's quickly calculate for 15, 20, or uh, then we'll go to back to calculations. This is 31 lakhs. Oh God. And have a look at the difference. This blue line was there. And this is the line of, uh, you can say the interest, interest only the money, which you have earned over the period. Back 20, 67 lakhs. And we'll one more one more thing. We'll go back to one time compounding as well. We we'll go back to one time compounding, one time investing as well. Thirty years, so this is something around twenty eight two point eight four CR, two point eight four CR, and last probably forty years. Just something around eleven CR. All right, now have a look at this. This blue line is flat. That is your investment and you're earning with your time. Have a look at this. You're earning with your time. The money which you have invested in the first month or first year is going to give you returns for the next 40 years. That is the compounding. Way back, let's have a look at Excel sheet. What was your investment? So this is the compounding as it says, um, for the 5,000 5, every month, 5,000, let me write down PM. All right, 5,000 for one month, for one year, 70,000 only. So this goes for four lakhs. This must be the case where that lady, if you remember in the uh, starting of session, I was uh, talking about to a client. So this lady must have come almost like right, two, three years. So this must be the amount, two, three lakhs. Then 13 lakhs, 31 lakhs, 67 lakhs, and 2.8411 CR. Have a look at the difference between the amount. This money almost got tripled and have a look. This money almost got doubled in next five years and doubled and multiple fold and multiple fold. This is all about compounding. This is the game of compounding. But, but think practically, if there is a guy who's just investing blindly in mutual funds, let's say for example, there is a name, uh, there is a guy named called, let's say Arman. So Arman is a guy who is just investing in mutual funds rapidly, aggressively, whatever money is got in the mutual fund, whatever money is got in the mutual fund, mutual fund, mutual fund, mutual fund. But, 
But what if after three years, the same case or after five years or after 10 years, let's say for example, after 10 years, uh, there was an accident, he met accident and um, he died. So after a few days, uh, his family started to, to look for some income sources, he started to look for uh, insurance papers, mutual funds, DMAT, etc, etc, et bank FDs as well, right? So they realized that uh, this guy, he just made almost 13 lakhs. Definitely for a family of two or even a three, 13 lakhs is definitely not that much big to survive. To survive because this guy who was an earning member of family as is being no more into this so going back what we're going to do we are going to divide this five thousand into two parts into two parts but before that if you guys have any doubt till here feel free to ask we'll proceed once everyone is being cleared with this compounding Anyone here with the things you can probably uh, raise your hands to make it more quick. If you're clear with it so that you can just raise your hands so that we can move it ahead. All right. So there is a very good question. Ar Ar Arun says, what are the some of the risks associated with investing at a young age and how they can be minimized? See, I don't see any risk. I started at the age of 18. I entered into markets in 2013 and uh, this being going to be 10 years, right? Uh, few risk, as you can say, is uh, uh, not investing in good quality stocks, investing in penny stocks, junk stocks, looking at uh, those junk stocks which are lying at 4 rupees, 5 rupees. Those are way more risky than those stocks which have been performing. As we say, quality comes at a price. Can you describe a simple option strategy if you expect a stock options to change significantly but don't know in what direction? You can simply go with the debit spread. Though this is not an option, uh, I can say class, this is an investing class, but I can answer that you can go with the debit spread as well. Or even if you don't know what would be the direction, you can go with a simple strangle. You can buy a call. You know that there can be a significant movement, right? There can be news, for example, RBI is going to cut or decrease the rate, hike the rates. So you can buy simply a call. You can simply buy a put that is called strangle. All right. Um, how to build a successful long-term portfolio? Simply, if you want to build a successful long-term portfolio, focus on quality. Don't and don't focus on cheap things. Do not look out at the prices. Look at valuations. That is the difference. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. For example, I'm going to buy Yes Bank at 10 rupees. But uh, believe me, there are n number of supply of Yes Bank. So that would be very difficult, the prices to go up. More the supply, the prices will not go up. Focus on this thing. The less the supply, definitely, the less the supply, the demand would be there. The prices will shoot up. All right. Sir, can we earn huge profits in one year? I. Uh, the question arises what you what is on stake what is on risk side more risk more profits more losses as well all right and um, the next question is um, what are the some common mistake that young investor avoid uh, that investor should avoid when investing all right fair enough so first question is look at the uh, mutual funds which have been into the industry from last 10 to 15 years that would be the first one or uh, look at good uh, amount you can say uh, hire a good one if you don't you, can, you cannot hire simply focus on uh, etfs as well that are you can say comes at a very less expenses and uh, last can be start investing as soon as possible and always and always look out at your portfolio periodically. For example, if you guys have a time once a month, uh, if you guys don't have a time at least twice, uh, uh, sorry, not twice, I should say once a quarter. All right, how young, uh, how can young investors minimize their tax liability? See, tax is one which uh, everyone needs to pay. Even I pay, Sandeep sir would be paying from his salary as well, right? Uh, so minimizing tax salaries, you can invest in tax savings mutual funds that comes under uh, section ATC. 
All right, and the last one says, can you explain more about Nifty and intraday trading? Hi, Pratmesh. Would be little bit difficult to answer in the uh, investing session, but uh, all I can suggest you is you can go through my YouTube videos where I have uh, in, uh, suggested few strategies and I've explained them into the playlist of price section. All right, um, going back with this, now comes to the point where this guy was investing 5,000 rupees, but he was completely blanked and mutuals uh, into the mutual funds. Here he was like mutual fund, mutual fund, mutual fund, mutual fund, mutual fund, completely investing. After one year, he's died 70,000 rupees. After five years, he died 4 lakh rupees. This is nothing. This is nothing. In this era, where prices are shooting up, uh, where uh, you can say a, there is a hike in everything, airlines, hotel charges, groceries or any other thing, right? Uh, so you need a good corpus looking, thinking about uh, next 30 to 40 years down the line. We're back. So this guy was investing 5,000 rupees. This was 5,000. So what we are going to do as you, everyone are of tender age, young age, we are going to take uh, just an hypothetical. You are going to take uh, insurance for you guys in this example. So here you can invest thousand rupees per month out of that 5,000. I'm not going to ask you uh, another additional thousand, but uh, out of this 5,000, you can invest thousand rupees into the insurance that is per month INS insurance and rest balance 4,000 rupees per month to the mutual funds. Uh, Viborji, just I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt. Uh, yes, sir. You are uh, typing somewhere. It is not visible here on the screen. Typing is not visible? No, no, it's not visible. And just. your camera is also struck, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, is it visible now? Uh, no, sir. Still not? No, no, not yet. All right. So let's do one thing. Open up a paint on uh, Zoom itself. Can be done. Right. Text. Visible now? Uh, Pradeep sir, it's it's not visible to me. Is it visible to you? No sir, it's not visible. All right. So we need to go to apps. Uh, not apps. Uh, I need to draw something. So I was just looking out to draw something on screen. Can you just? Uh, uh... I mean, stop the screen sharing and reshare it again once again. I think by then uh, it will be done. Yes, now it is visible. The paint has come into. Uh, I'm able to see the five thousand in the paint. Yes, yes, yes. Fair enough. Yes. But sir, yeah, I think after camera struck, yes, sir. Mm, must not be stuck. Is it fine? Yes. Up, up, perfect, sir. No worries. Good. Luck. All right, uh, and I apologize for this technical glitches. All right, no. so. Uh, 5,000 and again, wherever you see any technical glitches to my audio, to my video, as well as on screen, if I am uh, uttering it out, if you're not able to hear anything, or if you're not able to view out anything in your screen, feel free to drop a pin. Uh, don't feel shy. Just drop a pin. I'm not able to see. And Sandeep sir, uh, feel free to interrupt. Uh, no worries. Sure, thank you. All right. So 5,000 rupees. So we are going to invest 4,000 rupees out of this into mutual funds and uh, this would be thousand rupees would be for a insurance. Uh, I started at the age of 18 or 19 and uh, at the age of 20, I took an insurance so that was of one crore rupees. That was of one crore rupees at uh, something around 8,900 rupees round off to let's say 9,000 rupees. Fair enough. Now let's have an example because the premium have rise. So let's have an example way back 9,000 to 12,000. That is 1,000 rupees per month. So let's have an example. I'm going to take an insurance of 1,000, uh, uh, 1 crore or 1.5 crores or let's say round off to 2 crores. Fair enough. So let's put up this calculation way back in our Excel sheet and have a look at difference. If this person dies in first year, second year, five years, 10 years and what happens. So this was my Excel sheet. This was the first five months uh, calculation and I can stop annotation. Yes. All right. Now this would be something around uh, 4,000, not this one, 4,000 per month in insurance. And let's mark it in a, any other color just to have a discussion. So let's say red color. All right. 
again one year five and so on and this would be 1000 rupees per month in insurance so if the person dies in the first year or second year let's say for example if i talk about myself i started for insurance of 40 years which means at the age of 20 i started and till the age of 60 i'm going to pay the premium and this term insurance believe me those uh, if you are at tender age take a insurance this is something like a you can say a product which can save a lot of amount there are term insurance now into the markets which are with riders with critical illness not only on when you die on your death claims but on your a premium back as well if you don't die you will get a premium back as well and if there is any critical illness let's say cancer kidney failures or so any other uh, n number of uh, uh, failure disease uh, so you can get uh, money for your uh, illness as well way back so let's say for example i started with two crores so if i die at any point i will get two cr let's copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste but but if i die at 41 years if i die at 41 years I'm not going to get anything because my term insurance was till 40 and I was investing till 40. I was investing till 40 and this term insurance lapsed out. I'm not going to get anything, not even a single penny. So this is zero. So this guy who was dependent on mutual funds, this guy who was totally dependent on insurance at the age of, uh, let's say for example, 61. If I talk about at the age of 61, I was celebrating my retirement. Oh God, I lived at 60 but what happens if i die at 62 65 70 nothing i got nothing my family didn't got anything i was like completely blank my family would be banging out on streets obviously no one wants that so let's say for example if you're investing four thousand rupees out of this five thousand into mutual funds let's put up a bracket into calculator and um, let's see what we have uh, into the basket 40,000 for one year. Let's start with one year. This goes to 56,000. You visible. I'm not sharing screen because I have to switch again and again, done, 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 done. right? So I'm just putting up the figures. You can simply use those uh, annuity calculator, and uh, at the end, I will share the screen as well. So sure. five, this comes to 357,000, 3.57 lakhs. Going back to 10 years, this comes to 10.68 lakhs. 15. This comes to 24 lakhs, round off to 25 lakhs. And, uh, 53. 25 and uh, goes back to 30. And this comes to 2 crores, 27 lakhs, 2.27 CR, last one, 40, and we'll calculate for 41 as well. So this comes to 9 crore, 32 lakhs, 9.32 CR, and 41. This comes to 10 CR, 10.7 CR. All right, have a look at this calculation. Let me put up a zoom in. Fair enough. Now, at any point of time, if any of the earning fam earning member of the family is being deceased, you can't have a look. Let's say, for example, if this guy was totally dependent on mutual funds, but if he dies in the first year, if he dies in the first year, this calculation, right, this column. So he's going to get 70,000, his family definitely, right? 4.47 uh, lakhs. Uh, and definitely this is not a that particular amount. You're going to definitely get, okay, this is guaranteed. No, this is markets, right? This can be 3 lakhs. This can be 10 lakhs as well, depending on market run up. But if this guy dies in the next 10 years, this, his family is going to get 13 lakhs. Fair enough. But have a look at this calculation. This guy, the third guy who was totally dependent on insurance. I have taken a 10 insurance policies if I die, right? But what if you survive? Very happy. But if you die after 40 years, 15 years, 55 years, 60 years, right? This would be zero, 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 zero. You're not going to get anything. Your family would be cursing you a lot. <laughs> Definitely. Jokes about right so we need a balance between this class and this class 
and this can be achieved at a tender age. Why a tender age? Let's say for example, if I'm at 50 years old, I'm going to pay a lot of premium for insurance, right? Way back reason is being very simple because the probability to die in upcoming next 10 to 15 years is more in comparison to probability to die at the tender age. 18 years, 20 years, 22 years. So that is why the premium for these years are very less. 800 rupees a month, 900 rupees a month. And I'm going to tell you one more thing as well. Right. Uh, so this guy, let's say for example, who was investing both in mutual funds as well as insurance. This E guy who was investing uh, 4,000 rupees. Let's say for example, he died at the age of one year. So 56,000 56, rupees from uh, mutual funds and 2 crore premium from insurance company. Let's say for example, he died at the age of uh, this 30 years. So almost 2 crores from uh, mutual funds and almost 2 crores from insurance company. But if he survived, at least he would be having a long term corpus portfolio building from both the hands, building from both the hands. It is seen like a gym. If you go to gym, you don't build up biceps, bicep, 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 bicep. If you look at the whole structure, legs are weak, chest is not being pumped up, right? If you do go at a gym, it is not something like you're going to go for a chest as well, chest pumped up. Looking at legs, this would be horrible. So this is the same case when you build a portfolio, look at all other round things, mutual funds, equity, reality, as well as gold. If you want to invest uh, gold ETF as well. And uh, the first case as would be something like uh, this insurance and mutual funds. All right. Again, taking a pause, any doubt till this point, feel free to ask. Then I'm going to ask Sandeep sir a question and uh, this is going to be interesting. There are a lot of questions, uh, I mean, which has been asked. I mean, I must say that. So probably uh, we can pick few of them uh, at this yep. point of time. Fair enough. Let's start. There was a good huge volume in Bank Nifty yesterday and going downfall today. What do you think is the reason of this? The reason was very simple. We made money in puts. Uh, and uh, one more request again. So let's not diversify from the topic. If this session has been uh, kept for investing at early age. So let's be stick to this topic. Way back, the answer is being very simple. That is HDFC Bank and HDFC merger and MSCI index rebalancing. Doing intraday is better or investing in delivery trade is helpful. Both are fairly enough. If you have a time, if you can be on screen for next six hours from 9.15 to 3.30, go for intraday. I'm a full-time trader. I start my day at 8.30 with the daily course and then 9.15 to 3.30 in the market hours and then recording out videos on YouTube, going live YouTube sessions as well, right? So I can be on a screen. I would be intraday trader. Take example of Sandeep sir, because he has to fulfill the management responsibilities. He has to look out at the students, the other things. So he cannot be on the screen. So he would be going for a delivery basis. What role can parents or other family members play in the helping young people get starting with investing? This is one of the biggest, uh, I can say the helpful one about my family because um, uh, I belong to a business family. So I had a mindset, my parents had a mindset of business uh, uh, fraternity, you can say. So if your parents are willing, ask them to invest instead of mutual funds. Oh, sorry. Instead of FD, take example, bank returns, bank FD gives you 8%, right? Uh, inflation is 7%. You would be in a 1% and you have to pay taxes. So nearly almost decent, uh, you can say zero, right? Mm -hmm. uh, nil. But if you talk about the nifty ETF, you think about long term, give them guidance. If your parents are supportive, grow enough with them. What are the some sources you can uh, you use to stay informed about the stock markets and opportunities? Uh, I read about books, a lot of books, uh, and obviously current affairs. Twitter is fair enough. Twitter, if you go up on Twitter, there will be a lot of news. Then uh, Economic Times, Money Control, these are all free sources. Do not pay to get the news. And um, Going back, uh, can you tell me what are the some freelance or remote work options that might be suitable for students? Uh, where enough, um, I have recorded a video on this as well. Top to uh, seven skills to learn in 2023. Let's start with one content writing. You can get a content writing. This is rough from home, right? Uh, you can write a lot of content. I talk about myself. You won't believe we have a three freelance content writers in the house 
one is for you can say the articles one is for threads one is for quotations and a small two or three line write up as well right they work in the free time number one you can second job editing this is one of the most emerging one as the digital world is growing panels creatives video editing as well third one subtitles you can type subtitles for someone any of the big youtuber as well right up and give them file this is again work from home these are the three fourth one is the tuition fourth one is the tuition if you are in bachelors you can help eighth or ninth class with their homework as well there are n number of websites which ask you to help and pay per hour right up and uh, second one is taking surveys uh, people pays to take surveys because these surveys are talking about uh, you can say um, not biased unbiased in uh, view so these are the there are many other things you can take typing as well or uh, data analyzing how can one balance investing for the future with other financial priorities such as paying off a student loan or saving down for a home loan fair enough so first priority would be to settle down a loan because this loan is going to fetch up almost 10 to 12 percent with certainty but market is going to give you at least 13 to 14 percent or 15 percent but with uncertainty so the first priority to settle this loan clear up your mind feel free take a breath in the open air right then you can start investing all right email copywriting works cold email writing works for example there is a guy who is uh, let's say very less familiar with the terminologies but he wants to connect he has got a lot of money he has got a lot of contacts but he don't know how to write uh, email Usko nahi pata email kaise hai. you can be a guide you can simply send him that this is the email just do copy email writing how do you track the performance of your stock market invest over time? I simply log in into the Excel sheets. I simply log into my dashboards and uh, look out uh, which stocks are not performing over the time. I'll look out the charts, the fundamentals. If the fundamentals are improving, but stock is not performing, I will be holding it out. If the fundamentals are not improving over the time of six months, nine months, the sale is being on the such side, the profit is not on the track, uh, definitely I'm going to move out of this junk. Great. All right, uh, all right, done. So we have looked out the opportunities. Going back, you can start with the mutual funds uh, term insurance. This was the example of term insurance where we have the investing uh, at the age of 18, 19, 20. You can visit any website, ICICI. I have taken ICICI personally. So ICICI, Prudential, you can visit out and in the, the other, right? Uh, and about mutual funds, you can start with blue chips. You can look out at um, Nifty, ETF, Bank Nifty, Bs. These are one of the safest investing in the market. All right. How can one build confidence in their investing decision and overcome the failure? See, confidence comes from uh, bad experience and not bad experience i should say utter bad experience right uh, you're going to get confidence from good experience and good experience comes from bad experience this is something like uh, let's say for example i'm a chef so this is my first day on duty i would be uh, let's say i would i'm baking out a cake uh, or i'm making uh, noodles or uh, we are in bangalore so let's say idli sambar i'm making a idli sambar right uh, so the the first day would be horrible this would be up and down. I'm going to ask my seniors to help rectifying this idli or a sambar or masalas, etc. After five days, I would be getting a more confidence. After 10 days and after a month, I would be like, Are yaar, ye le, bana ke diya. right? So this comes with the practice. If you are going to take 100 decisions out of these 150 would be something like those doesn't matter in a long run. These 50 would work 25 or 30 would work in a short term something like these things and only five to ten are going to work in a long term horizon so you have to bet on the table if you want to win something all right um what do you suggest intraday uh, so i just missed out uh, how can negative emotions impact investment decision particularly for young investors negative emotions can invest uh, definitely a horrible case so for example uh, uh market is falling market is falling i should not invest i should not invest market is falling you need to invest invest in red days to enjoy green days simple this is the ultimate goal 
if everyone is selling market is going to be up not today day after tomorrow or day after tomorrow take example nobody is talking about russia ukraine war these days nobody is talking about covid these days nifty is near to the lifetime high bank nifty is almost near to lifetime high simple think about long term horizon if it doesn't matter in next 5 minutes it doesn't matter in the next 15 minutes or a 5 years simple think about where you want to be next 5 years take an example you have taken a bachelor degree or a master degree taking in a reputed college abs right so you are thinking about the next 15 years or else you would have been done doing this in any roadside college who doesn't matter the attendance who doesn't focus on projects the buildings are being under constructed any other thing right but you know that after this you won't get a placement you have come to gbi phase because you are thinking about a good perspective for i would be getting a good job i would be a good project manager i would be getting a lot of support from my staff and my colleagues and my teachers thoda lamba ho gaya really sorry main jab ek flow mein aata hu to main aise bolta rehta hu all right uh, done sandeep sir one question to you because you the mentor so definitely we are going to get more opportunity on this right uh, let's have a example uh, are you married sorry yes. for personal question yes yes sir and uh, any kid one one, one. how old is he is about 6 6 years perfectly fine so but think about go 6 years back go 6 years back right and go down deep dive into those emotions when your son uh, for the first day he would have cried right definitely that happiness right so let's have an example so there would be some uh, events ceremonies name ceremonies name ceremonies uh, and uh, functions and god bless right so there would be in number of uh, relatives friends college mates would have come to your functions right usually people hand over a envelope they are having 100 500 or 1000 rupees or uh, uh, grandparents and uh, uh, like uh, maternal or paternal they usually give gold or silver coins etc right so two questions to you number one on an average i'm not going to ask obviously you won't even remember after 6 years uh, on an average how much you think you would have got as a gift about if 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 not considered in gold is about 30 40000 rupees or if we consider gold and silver on an average so th- because this was a gift as well probably around 2 uh, 2 and a half lakhs all right let's round off to 1 lakh a median because the gold value has increased as of now as well right up now take an example what do you think as a father as a father you would be something around let's say 65 or 70 years old and your son would be something around 40 45 on an average keeping this right uh, so what do you think your son should retire at what age so about 40 40 40 45 40 45 yes all right let's put up this calculation so it said 2 lakhs i am even taking 1 lakh only 1 lakh this is 1 lakh this is zero this is zero done you said 40 years right yes what do you think how much it can be one time investment Not a repu- uh, not a repeated one or uh, not a compounding one. One time, what do you think? It's about twenty uh, percent plus thirty percent plus. If, If you put up a calculator, so this shows one tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakhs and CR is two hundred times. And best part, best part was this money yours. absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part so this money was not for me this money was not from my end right so what we usually suggest to people who are going to have, who are going to bless with a kid or who are having a let's say one year or one year old whatever money you have just invest one time in a nifty bank nifty or a good mutual funds and just at the time of 40 years when he is retiring right so you definitely you need to bless him with a good gift so simply give him this that this is what you have earned by doing nothing <laughs> all right so uh, any other few doubts feel free to ask we'll wind up the session here 
I was allotted to one hour. I have completed in next forty minutes. Great. Uh, the last calculation which you showed, uh, hmm. had you put that on the uh, Excel? Uh, I have not put up on Excel because this was single one. Okay. What we have put up on Excel? Uh, let me show. It's here. It's visible here. It's visible. All right. Yeah. So uh, we have done four calculations. One, the five thousand per month. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. There was a technical glitch. I was unable to hear you. Sorry. Yeah. Ab awaaz aagi. Aapki awaaz aagi kahi thi. Okay. All right. So we have done uh, four calculations, and uh, out of three, these were put up in Excel. Number one was five uh, thousand per month, uh, but this guy is investing in mutual funds heavily. The second one, the insurance guy who's taking up an insurance of thousand rupees, two thousand rupees per month, but not investing in mutual funds. The third calculation was four thousand plus one thousand. This guy is being a stable mind. He is investing from his left hand as well as on his. Right hand, both the sides, and the fourth one for your son, thousand uh, one lakh rupees one time given by your relatives, not your money and not for you invested for him at the forty, he would be a karopati. <laughs> that's that's really nice. I, I right. think th this is the way where uh, we need to uh, widen our lenses, keep to see a different perspective altogether. Keep we we generally we are bound to see only one thing. क्या काम आएगा एक हजार रुपए आई मीन इट वी जस्ट टेन टू जस्ट लिव इट दी वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द पावर ऑफ कंपाउंडिंग आई बिलीव डेफिनेटली यू वोंट बिलीव इफ आई लुक बैक आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन अडानी ग्रीन एट 95 रुपीस वेंट बैक टू 4000 केम डाउन टू नाउ राइट आई एम स्टिल होल्डिंग राइट यू टेक एनी अदर एग्जांपल आई हैव एजीआई ग्रीन एट 300 परसेंट रिटर्न्स बिकॉज़ आई एम लुकिंग एट फंडामेंटल्स आई एम लुकिंग एट लॉन्ग टर्म ग्रोथ definitely i'm not talking about uh, do not uh, take mobile do not go out on vacation no use of money if you are striving no use of money if you cannot uh, live comfortably but uh, think about future as well let's say for example if you are running 50000 50000 enough right if you are invest if you are getting 50000 after let's say for example basic expenses house rent electricity mobile traveling right you're left with let's say 25000 or even let's say 20000 rupees spend 10000 on yourself mobile or gadgets playstations going out on uh, any hill station kur chale jao bangalore se pass hai right uh, or any other and just invest 4 to 5000 rupees looking at future so that it's not only about 40 years Let's say, for example, after five years, there is a medical emergency. Just five years, or just two years. Take example of COVID, where people were not going out. Uh, so many of those were not left with any of these income sources. So they have to use their savings. They have to take out, right? So these things can be used out at that time as well. If there is any medical emergency, let's say, for example, if you come out at a project, if a business opportunity is there, right? Uh, if you want to start your own venture, but that requires only five lakh rupees investment, advertising expense. You want to be a content creator. If I talk about myself, I, I I'm looking at this my position. There is one light, there is one light, there is camera, there is mic, there is backdrops, right? Uh, so I have to invest. But once we start investing in these, the videos starts getting a lot of views because the quality improves. Okay. any other thing as well so you can invest for those uh, unforeseen circumstances as well great sir i i must say the energy level what you had is amazing vibhav ji uh, i would request if if you could uh, turn off the screen and uh, i would request you to ki hame thodi si shakal aapki zyada dikh jaye to zyada badhiya hoti hai turn off my screen i have already paused the screen no uh, okay pause now the share screen sharing I have paused the screen sharing. No, sir, it is visible. Just one minute. Uh, screen. No. Yes, perfectly fine. So I, I must say, Gurji, that there are a lot of different perspectives which which we understood today. That's there's there's not from I think from today whoever is gonna get some gifts. they would gonna invest for about 30 40 years anyway so mera paisa to hai nahi to it's aaya nahi aaya ek barabar but i'll put it for the investments <laughs> so that's that's really nice so the first of all thank you so much uh, this session was really amazing very very informative i'm sure a lot of takeaways which we have it today from this session and on behalf of gib business school family i would love uh, to extend my sincere gratitude to you vibhav ji for being with us 
Thank spend you. your time. Uh, I must say, I know that you're very, very busy. A lot of assignments, a lot of things you've held up with, but despite that, you've taken time out for GIBS and for all our audience. Thank you so much for that. And uh, the information which you have shared with us as real in, uh, with a lot of insights which we had and the resilience, the persistence, what you have, the innovation that you created in guiding a light on all the investors right out here. And I would also like to extend my gratitude to all the participants who have joined us today for a wonderful, for this wonderful IRE talks, your presence and active participation have made it even more a great success. So thank you so much once again, and we hope this session is making a lot of benefits to all the participants who have been. I must say this, Mr. Vibor is very, very active on the social media platform. You can always, in case if you have any doubts, anything as such, you can still connect him over the Twitter or LinkedIn. Uh, I'm, I'm, he's, he's available almost on all the platforms. So very, very active. So looking forward to learn many more things on a personal, on a personal window, I would say, Viborji, I would be connected with you. On Anytime, sir. Right. Thank you so much once again. And kindly note uh, all the participants. Uh, you can watch this video on YouTube. Probably we'll be putting it as usual on the GIBS YouTube channel. So in case if you have missed out on any of the information which Viborji had given you, you can refer back. You can check the calculators which you had shared it. What was the calculation which was done? So anything required, you can check back on the YouTube channel of GIBS. You will find this uh, video live there in the next two working days. And the results, I mean, the uh, certificates of this particular uh, web uh, webinar would be shared in the next two working days. And the next webinar, the next IRE talk is on 16th of May, okay, 4.30 p.m. Featuring Shivam Ahuja, the founder and CEO of Skill Circle, a tech entrepreneur of the year 2022 and TEDx speaker and a podcaster. So looking forward to see you again. Do follow Viborji on social media platforms. I'm sure he would give you very one good thing I did not mention, Viborji. For my favorite of yours is one minute capsule, which you give it every I think every day you give that. So one minute capsule where you share two insights about a stock. So which is one of the very, very key elements of it. And I'm sure if the participants have you look for that, you will enjoy a lot. You will have a lot of learning moving ahead. So till then, thank you so much once again. Thank you everyone, the participants. See you soon once again on 16th of May. So looking forward to meet you again. Thank you, Viboji. It was really thank nice. Thank you. Bye-bye everyone. Take care. Thank you.